Good morning everyone, my name is Lucas and this is Vardis Farms. Something new for you today, it's mask detection uh, device. Uh, it's actually a camera, surprise. Um, and it's not only one camera I have, it's actually uh, two cameras and one uh, access control uh, minimal. So we're just gonna start with uh, the first one. It's a new uh, AccuSense camera, like you see here, it's a turret. Uh, it's a DS-2CD2346G2-ISU forward slash SL. So that's one of them. Um, like you see here, it has a built-in microphone and it's already triggered um, the mask detection um, because it pick up my face from the screen actually right now. Uh, so there is... Um, two uh, uh, LEDs, uh, they can flash if you like as well, if the person has been detected. Um, so this is the, I would say, the, the, the basic one. It's only gonna pick up the face um, and it's gonna announce the message mask detection. I'm just gonna show you how to do it, how to upload the customized message or build in uh, uh, audible warning if you like. Uh, so that's one of them, the easiest one to, f uh, to set it up. Uh, also, we have the one that you already uh, seen before. It's the temperature screen camera. This temperature screen camera has a two lenses, like you see on the front. So if you, you you're going to use that camera to screen the temperature, but if someone doesn't wear the mask, and um, it will actually trigger the message. So that's I don't know if you can hear that. Uh, I just put a little bit of volume down for a second. And the last one, but not the least, uh, is, I'm just gonna try to, not breaking it, um, it's the minimal. So the minimal will pick up the face, um, temperature screening as well, it's built in. Like you see on the top of the unit is the temperature screening camera. Um, so it will pick up your face, it will see what's the temperature. And, uh, if you don't wear the mask, it's actually gonna uh, announce the message as well, if you like to. Or you can just display the message on the front uh, that you don't wear the mask. So that's the last one, uh, but also the most advanced one because it can actually uh, open a door for you. Uh, it's a full access control unit, so you can you can connect your relay. So I show you that before uh, on the two occasions or maybe three already, um, one without the temperature screening as well. And um, so this is the mass detection now we focus on. So we're just going to show you all three how to do the mass detection. Um, so, what we're going to start with is the uh, actual the, the AccuSense camera. So, if you're going to log in to the camera itself, um, so there it is. So, this is the camera. This is the model of the camera here. And in, when once you log into the camera, you just go face capture, and in the face capture, you go advanced configuration. And in advanced configuration, on the bottom of the page, there's an option there to enable a mask detection. So it will, uh, the camera will search for any face within the range of the camera, within the zone you create in the rule settings. Um, but then it will actually, if there will be a face within the zone, it will pick it up the face and it will check if someone wear the mask, wear the mask or not. If they don't, uh, what we need to do, we just need to go to the event um, and the basic events on the top of the page, we have the flashing alarm light, so you can uh, enable that and the uh, alarm light will flash, but also you have the audible um, alarm output. So like you see here, I already select the custom, you have the different uh, warning um, notifications, uh, it could be a siren, could be any different uh, message, it just could be a welcome if you like, if I save that. It just says welcome, simple as that. Um, but also you have no mask wearing. So if you would select that and save it, I'm just gonna click the test button. I'm just gonna do it again. Uh, so that's nearly halfway. So I'm just gonna go on a full blast there now with the uh, volume. And that's loud enough. I can tell, no, I, I would definitely hear if I will be on the front of the camera. And if that would be a shop or you know any place that you could place that camera there, so this is the um, uh, built-in uh, notification. But I can also select a custom uh, notification or a prompt message. A prompt message is just is just some kind of signal there. Um, custom, 
uh, I can upload, so I already upload some uh, audible uh, warning. You can just click the add button and just go for browse a file and just, just select your file from, uh, from your PC. Once it's selected, you just give it a name. So I can just go, just any name ready. And that's it. I know if you notice that what type of the file it has to be, it's a wave and a file 8 kilohertz and not bigger than 512 kilobits per second, uh, kilobits. Uh, so be careful with that when you're creating the file. It can be too long and um, message. So you have two now. I have the first one I created before. Uh, so you just need to save it and I can just bring up the volume a little bit and we can test it now. And this is me recorded beforehand um, and I was just playing away. So if I'll put that uh, on straight on my face. Please wear a mask. That's it. It's actually triggered straight away. And that's that's all how, how, how to set it up with this small camera. It's, it's really straightforward. There's nothing to it really. And um, because the camera will pick up your face automatically, you just need to tell what to do and what kind of message you need to announce when the face is detected without um, the mask. So that's one. So uh, one we have here done. We move on to the uh, temperature screen cam now. It's almost identical. It's almost the same. Again, we just go temperature screen. Um, you just go face capture in a face capture and advanced configuration. It's actually enabled by default. Uh, it's the audible uh, warning there for uh, not, not wearing a mask linkage. So uh, once you have it selected, it's automatically automatically triggered the message. So I'm just going to trigger that message here. So again, if you go to the basic event settings, uh, audible alarm output, you have the multiple outputs, you just go with the mask detection and you have this warning. I just put a really low volume there, so I'm just going to try it again. Please wear a mask. So there is, that's the built-in message. Or you can customize a message, like exactly the same as the one before. So I just click the add button, uh, browse for my file, mask too, I created beforehand, and just name it, whatever you like. Click OK, and that should be uploaded. So I have this custom audio here. and. And this is me now, uh, recorded beforehand. So simple, really simple. So once I will be in the range of the camera, I can actually put the camera up here. Uh, so we'll pick up my face and you can actually view it on the live view screen as well. Please wear a mask. So there is. Uh, stra mask. Straight away, uh, pick up my uh, face and check the temperature but also uh, announce the message to wear the mask. So very, very simple, straightforward. Uh, this feature is actually built in. So if you have one of those temperature screen cameras, you can enable that. You can just update the firmware. Just the, the latest firmware that will allow you to do it is the 5.5131. Uh, is it the one? Sorry, the wrong camera I'm in. Sorry, this is the one. Um, so we we'll go back and the maintenance, sorry, the systems configuration here. So 5526 and the build date is from the last month, the 20th of the 7th, uh, 08. So that's the latest for this camera. So you can upload your own custom audio and you can also up the, upload the uh, custom, customized audio for the temperature screen. And if you like, uh, if you're interested into, uh, in that as well. So that will allow you to do it. So these two cameras, like you see, very straightforward face capture and you just need to make sure the linkage is selected for audible warning and once you have it selected event basic event and alarm output and in the settings so this is the temperature screen camera like you see here it has a built-in message as well and um, the same as the other one what 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 else you have there it's a minimal so if we go with the minimal um let me see it here so this is our Minmo, and in order to log into the Minmo and change the settings of the Minmo to actually announce the message, uh, we just need to paste it to software. You can log in locally, but I prefer to start to, to log in via the software. So once we logged in, uh, we just go to um, other settings. And you see here listed 
um, like must wear the mask or I can uncheck that and just remind to wear the mask. So be two type of different notifications showing up on the, on, on the screen of this minimal. Um, but if someone must wear the mask, you just click save, make sure this is checked. Um, just a quick update on the minimal. And the latest firmware is actually allow you to send a proper picture, not just the term picture to your software, to your IVMS software. You just need to check the box here, capture white light picture. Um, and that will send the message. So I'm just gonna show you here what kind of message I'm talking about. So this is the thermal image camera in the event center. So this is just a regular temperature screen camera, like you see how it has been detected. Um, this is the AccuSense, and the AccuSense, I just changed the priority for this so we can see which one is from the AccuSense, which one is from um, from, from a temperature screen camera. So there is a few uh, pictures of me just testing it beforehand. Like you see here, every single time I've been detected, there's uh, information about, you know, if I wear the glasses, if I wear a mask, smiling or not. And that will also tell you some bit information about the person on the front of the camera. Um, but also I have this no mask, like you see here. This is actually no mask uh, event from the Minmo. Uh, so if I will go with uh, no mask here, I'm just gonna get that uh, Minmo here now. So there it is, uh, straight away, I pick it up, no mask, take my picture, and you can see here, um, that's it. You can also see that it check the temperature, it's uh, measuring the temperature, but also it's keep triggering my face. So, but I want to um, uh, change the volume, so I just want to... Wear a mask. Oh, now it's looking at the mid -mo. One camera is looking at the other one, it's picking up the face. Wear a mask. Oh, stop it. So, maybe just quickly, I'm gonna show you where to go. So, once we're logged in, um, in, in the minimal, we'll just go um, system. There's a volume, uh, voice volume. So, I'm just gonna go and check the five and save those settings and go back. Please wear a face mask. Please wear a face mask. And there is. Please wear a face mask. So, I'm keeps triggering automatically. Is showing my temperature, but also showing the message and audible warning as well. There we are. All right. And now we keep triggering. So put it down. So simple as that. You have three devices, and each one of them can annou announce the message audible warning, and that audible warning will be announced once the person doesn't wear the mask. The simplest one and probably the uh, is not as expensive as the other ones uh, but it only gives you the, the facial recognition and um, the mass detection but and together with the IDS machine it's a really powerful piece of the equipment because you can use the library on the IDS machine with that camera like we have a setups like a temperature screen camera for the entrance and for the exit is one of these connected to the IDS machine and you can then do the time and attendance for every person walking in, the temperature is screened and then on the way out they're, they're just checking out basically automatically. So uh, it's really really straightforward like you see here. Nice uh, handy piece of equipment. So uh, just go back quickly f to the to the software like you see here. This is the minimal, uh, it's showing me actually no mask if my minimo or any of the camera will be connected to the recorder i can also do the playback of that camera if i like to uh, so you can see what is actually uh, showing here so this is the minimo in the red and the accusense camera in the yellow i change it to so every single one of them and the thermal image is the blue one So I hope uh, that um, helped you a bit uh, what camera to choose. Um, like you see, there will be plenty of um, uh, applications these days for those type of the cameras. If someone is just looking for a simple solution to remind people when they walk into their premises to wear the mask, that's the camera. Just simple AccuSense will do. So if you're looking for the price for this uh, camera, just call our um, sales department. Your, SaaS manager, they will answer the questions about the price. 
Uh, if you need help with um, setting up this camera, you can obviously play back this video or you can call our tech department. You know, we are ready there to help you. So uh, thank you very much uh, for your time. Uh, take care and i see you next, uh, next week. Actually, next week I have something really special. Um, we haven't had that before. Uh, we haven't seen it. It's a totally new product. So I uh, can't wait to show you that. So thank you very much, guys. Take care. Stay awesome as always. Bye.